Vida, vida, l'amour. Yeah. Could you translate, please? Yes. It means live, life, love. Excellent. And why did you choose this title? So this is uh, just an unadulterated, happy moment. This is carefree. This is um, it's like a carnival of sound and um, where I get to play with some really cool people and have a little bit of a jam and communicate a joy and a love for life and um, hopefully allow people to put it on in their kitchens, their cars, wherever they happen to be, uh, have a really carefree moment, which I think we all need. It does sound really carefree. It's almost like um, Buena Vista Social Club, you know, the, the yeah. three, uh, well, there's many musicians, but yeah. particularly you, the guitarist, Jen Oki, and the cellist all collaborating and making this great sound. Like, yeah. Sounds like a party. It, yeah, it was. Well, if only. I mean, sadly, we weren't in the same room together. Um, such is uh, such other times. But um, I got to. I met Jinoki out when I was doing a, a tour of Japan some time ago, and uh, we hit it off. And and um, so I, I, he was the first. He's my f go to flamenco guitarist, and uh, he happily agreed to to play on the album. So he was in Tokyo. I was. Um, somewhere at home I think and uh, did the session he had his array of gu guitars and microphones and I was able to to obviously produce him from where I was and um, and we went through a number of things so solis soloistic and then more rhythmical um, and more sort of harmonic strumming and then we sort of arrived at a place where he did what he did, which is typically wonderful. And then other musicians as well, of course. Uh, you can hear on, on that track the wonderful Chris Hill bassist. Um, and who else did I have? Graham Devine as well, another superb guitarist from my, uh, my college days. And um, also one of Britain's best cellists in my view, one of the best cellists in Britain, if not the world, Richard Harwood. Uh, and I, not tongue in cheek at all, he is simply superb. And uh, so he was playing the most, one of the simplistic lines, probably the most simple music he's seen all year. But it was so important for this track and I wanted his sound um, on the album. So uh, big thanks to all of them uh, for getting together for this carnival of sound, as I call it. Yeah, it's fantastic. And it, well, it's Latin American in style, you know, flamenco yeah. guitarists. What chose you to write in this style? Well, you mentioned Buena Vista, which is a huge favourite of mine. I just love that. I loved everything about it. I'm proudly part Cuban, a very small part, but uh, part Cuban, um, 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 Jamaican heritage. And I, I've just always been drawn to that album, you know, the Rai Kuda uh, Buena Vista album, and the, the visualis visualisation that goes with it as well, just that whole intoxicating world, which is I've always been drawn to. Um, so I wanted to have something of that on, on, on this album as well. So uh, this, is, this is that moment I managed to carve out for myself. Excellent. And you talk about all these incredible musicians that you worked with. Was yeah. it a collaborative effort when you were writing? No, I, um, I, t I, just, I just write on my own, very solitary. And uh, in, in, so I don't write with others, but uh, fortunately, um, I have the opportunity for really cool people to play my stuff. So that's what happened here. 